Hello, my name is Pora Nelson with Random Attack, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the Boolean modifier. The Boolean modifier is an extremely useful modifier that basically takes two different objects and combines them in a variety of ways. So for example, here I have two objects. I have a cube and this weird shape. I don't know what to call it. If you go ahead and apply the modifier to the cube and select this shape here, you can see that it's already doing something. If you go to the single layer with only the cube, so you can see that's just the cube, we are basically finding the intersection. If you scale the cube up or scale it down, you will see that it kind of still keeps the modifier going. And so this is not in object mode. This is just outside of that. If you apply it and go inside of that, you can see that there's no intersections. It actually created a clean new mesh. If you do it, uh, union like this, then it's going to take the two objects and basically make a single new object. It's not two objects just put together but it actually creates a single skinned object like that. The next one is difference. This is the most used one in my um, workflow, basically. And it, it, it takes the two things and it subtracts. So it's subtracting this cool, spoky looking thing from the cube and it's cutting holes into us. This is great for hard surface things such as uh, guns or, or pretty much anything that's mechanical. Now there's different types of solvers. I always use BMesh. I've never used Carve. I've played around with Carve a little bit and it's pretty weak. The overlap threshold, you usually want to leave it at default or lower, and it basically changes how precise it's going to be. So the lower it is, the more precise it's going to be. Now with this, the modifier, the Boolean modifier, works almost all the time. There's a couple instances that can break it. So right now I'm creating a box that's the same size as the other box. And so they're going to be sharing faces. This is one of the ways that you can actually get some errors. So you can see right there, it was like inverting the normals. Another way to do this is uh, another way that can cause errors. I say can because it's not 100% of the time is actually having an open volume such as this. Now, as I move this cube around with the open volume, it's not doing anything. But if you find that you are getting strange Boolean operations, it's probably because you have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create that same spoky looking shape by duplicating instead of just making one single mesh. And so you saw me duplicate it, that and rotate it. And then this is the original. And you can see that there's no overlap. When you have several things, several different objects overlapping one another and you try a Boolean operation, it actually causes a lot of errors as well because it doesn't know which face to use in the, in the operation. So let me go ahead and show you that. If I do difference, it, you can see right there, that's not actually empty. Those are faces that are facing towards us. And so it, it didn't know quite how to punch holes through that. So you can see it's not working the way that it did originally. So if you're getting errors with the Boolean modifier, that's probably what's going on. It's an extremely easy to use, extremely useful out of the box modifier that I use on an almost daily basis in my projects. That's it for the tutorial. In the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be looking at the other modifiers, trying to get through the whole list and create a playlist for that. So far, we've done array, bevel, and boolean. But next tutorial, we're going to be doing build. If you like what we do on this channel, please follow us on Patreon. You get access to a couple tutorial files, uh, if, if it's a tutorial worth getting files for. And you also get as access to some Unity assets that you can use commercially. Also follow us on social media, such as Facebook and Twitter. It's just at RandomRAttack. And thank you so much for watching this. Have a great day.